to travel now and we're talking UK and Europe. Now it's a great time to be planning your holiday to escape our autumn and winter and with the weather the way it has been over the past couple of days we're probably thinking a bit more about it. Jacqueline Unsworth from Hello World is here with some great tips and deals to take advantage of. Good morning Jacqueline. Good morning. Great to have you here. Now a lot of Kiwis when they're younger they do their OE, you know, London, Paris, Rome. What are some of the other destinations that perhaps we should be thinking about? Yeah, so most people when they go to Europe, they've ticked off those iconic cities. And if you haven't been before, then you absolutely must do that. But what we're finding is that uh, people are now starting to sort of look more into the regional areas. So France, for example, you know, you can go travel up into Normandy. You can, if you've got some World War II family history, you can go and explore your connection to that. And that's really lovely to do that. Or you can go up into northern France and see some of the towns which were liberated by the New Zealanders uh, during World War I, of course, which has been quite topical recently. Brilliant. And also you can go and visit places like uh, Monet's Garden up in G uh, Giverny, which is absolutely beautiful. So there's some lovely things to do. You can go down to Bordeaux, um, which is, of course, they've been making wine since the 8th century. So if you love your food and your wine, I'd really recommend Bordeaux. Oh, yeah, sounds a bit of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it was only um, probably about 20 years ago, if you'd visited Bordeaux, that the, the buildings were all kind of covered in black and warehouses along the river, and they've really cleaned it up. And it's a beautiful city to visit now. And then we've got other places like Slovenia, which are uh, not that well known, full of mountains and lakes and are gorgeous. And Croatia is very popular too at the moment, it isn't it? It is, and I think that's become about because of Game of Thrones. Is that what it is? Yeah, and okay. I've actually not watched it, but everyone tells me that Croatia has become very popular for that reason, but it's got the most beautiful people there. It's a lovely culture, and of course you've got the gorgeous coastline, you can go and visit places like Dubrovnik, with its beautiful walls, and you go down to Split and Hva, oh. and all the little islands that you can sail around. So a lot of people actually hire oh. a yacht and do a bit of sailing around that area. Oh, that just sounds <laughs> absolute bliss. Why do we have to book these early? What's the advantage of that? Yeah, well the advantage is if you book early, you get the best choice of the airlines that, that you want, you get um, the best fares are out at the moment. And a lot of people think if they wait till after Christmas, there'll be better fares. But in reality, the best fares come out early. So you've got the best choice of airlines, the best seats on the plane, and also the days of travel that you want to go. Right. And it's actually a really good tip is if you travel midweek, you avoid the weekend surcharges. A lot of people don't realise it actually costs a little bit more to travel on weekends. So if you can schedule your travel around a weekday, then you'll, um, you'll do really well. See, and that's why you were here for all these great <laughs> tips. I love that. Okay, let's talk about river cruising. You've yes. done a few. So where did you go? What did you see? And how did you rate it? Oh, I love river cruising. I mean, you unpack once and it's very relaxing. And you just basically... You have a new scene every single day, and I have done two river cruises in Europe, and that's me in Vienna, actually. We did, we did some cycling. So the river cruises, um, that's Dernstein, my favourite place. So they, they actually have um, bikes on board, and so you can... Oh, really? Yeah, oh, cool. so you can get off and uh, cycle along the river, um, and you, know, you could get off, for example, in Melk, and that's Dernstein again. That's my favourite place. Yeah, it looks pretty, Yeah, just, it? just lovely. And uh, so then you can meet the river cruise further down the river, for example. So we did a river cruise from Passau down to Budapest, and we overnighted in Dernstein, we overnighted in Vienna, so we went out for dinner there, we overnighted in Budapest, and seeing Budapest all lit up at night with the Parliament buildings is utterly stunning. Oh, wow. And you just crisscross, um, you know, over the bridges that, that go over the Danube, so you've got the Buddha on one side and the Pest on the other, because they were two separate cities. And then they joined together and became Budapest. Well, there you go. There and you this go. is, you know, this is something a lot of people think about too, river cruising. But then say if you wanted to take a coach and you wanted to do a bit of rail, can you combine all three of them together? Yeah, absolutely. Because the river cruises end in cities like Amsterdam or Budapest or, you know, Baal. And then you know, there's train stations in, in every city and town. So it's really easy to connect with a Eurail pass. And you can do a Eurail pass that is 28 countries. You can do one that's just three to four countries. Or you can read regionalise it to just that one country. So you might, for example, finish in Baal and then you say, I just want to see more of Switzerland. So you do just a, a, a pass that sees Switzerland. And it's a really great way for people to be independent and just travel as they wish. But we'd really recommend that you um, download the app that they have once mm -hmm. you've got your pass. And I would also highly recommend that you travel in the first class area of the train because you just get all those little nice little extras as well with it and it just makes the whole journey far more comfortable. And you can you can help us with this because you've got any good deals for the cafe viewers? 
Yeah, we do. So we have a lovely uh, $200 land credit available at the moment for the first 100, 100 customers. Mm -hmm. And so you can put that uh, $200 land credit towards um, like a tour, sightseeing, a cruise and um, hotel accommodation. So, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you for sharing some of those experiences, especially yours personally as well. It just makes a huge difference when you're deciding mm, and nice. opens our minds. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to take advantage of the deals Jack Willen's talked about today, you can go to your nearest Hello world. There are 65 stores nationwide or you can call them on 0800 260 260. The website has some great tips, deals and advice. It's helloworld.co.nz. Hello World is the only retail travel company where you can spend your flybys points.